Yo, this is the tunnel place, Pokemon Moon. We have reached the top of Mount Aquila, and it's time to head to the Pokemon League. Right there, there it is. The Pokemon League of the Alola region. Hey there, Zitano! Woo, you come a long way! You made it through all the trials and grand trials that make up the island challenge! Congratulations! Thanks! I can't help but remember when you first chose your partner, yeah! Just one thing left for you to do! Take on the Pokémon League! This is where the real fun starts! Hey now! Looks like you got legendary Pokemon Lunala on your side. There's something I hope the legendary Pokemon knows. This has always been the spot where we finish up the island challenge. Want to put Pokemon League right up here as close as we could get to the moon to respect and honor you, Lunala. I still remember it like it was yesterday. I went all the way to Indigo Plateau, yeah, right up to the Pokemon League headquarters. I went right at them, cousin. Those gym leaders in Kanta really messed up my team and me up. Then I saw my team battling for me, though, through it all, purring their souls and their moves for me. And then the last guy, that dragon user in the cape. Oh, sorry. Enough about me. Let's get you in the area. Before you head in, make sure you're good and ready. You won't be able to come back out. Yeah, so it's the same thing as before, so once you go into the Pokemon League, you can battle Elite Four, but if you lose, you have to battle them all again, including the ones that you managed to beat. You may pass. I will wait to hear you for victory. Same. Let's go inside. Four trainers. Every Pokemon League in every region all over the world features four fantastic trainers called Elite Four. In Alola, we got four trainers all lined up for another Pokemon League. You'll win your way past every last one of them. You can't leave until you do. Or until you give up. Sounds good. Magnezon can sense when its trainer is nervous. Stay loose, you'll be fine. I expect you to show me some intense moves and real hard stopping battles in there. Good luck, Satana, Magnezone. So now it is time. So, there are four late trainers here. The first one here, or well, you can do him any order you want, just like Generation 5 and 6. Here we have the Fighting type. Up here, the Rock type. That's the first time ever. The rock is in Elite Four. We have the Ghost type, which we've seen multiple times before. And another newcomer to Elite Four is the Flying type. That's right. Fighting, Rock, Ghost, Flying. These are the four Elite Four types in Generation 7. So, Rock and Flying has never been used before, even though Bruno were a Fighting type user that had Rock type Pokemon Onyx. But we really haven't had a, gr a rock type. We have a ground type generation 4, but not a rock type. So rock and flying are new. And fighting, we have seen multiple times before, and as well as the ghost type. So I've decided that for this episode I will do the fighting type, and I'll do the rock type. Next episode we will do the ghost type, and the flying type. And then we're gonna battle whoever is the champion. So, let us begin with the fighting type. So fighting type... We need to use someone that's strong against fighting. You can use either a fairy type or a, a psychic type. So both Lunala and Primarina are really good here. Preferably probably I would say Lunala because Lunala as a ghost type is immune to fighting types. Just be warned though that some of these fighting types might have other moves that might be very dangerous to use. So use common sense I would say. If not then yeah up to you. But you can use Primarina, Lunala, other Pokemon too. But I'll start with Lunala first. Because Lunala is such a powerful Pokemon. Tanky and strong. 
Let's just show you the power of Lunala's Psychic type. So when you're ready, go forward and enter the first Elite Four. And it is someone that we know, someone we met before, someone we'll meet again. That's right. The Elite Four of the fighting types is... Hala! Old Hala's here to make you holler! That's right, more, multiple of these Elite Four, not all of them, but multiple Elite Four members are people we have met before. So Hala is the first one we will fight. He is the fighting type Elite Four, he is also the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island, the first Kahuna you fight. Now his team has changed, he has more Pokemon and is more tougher than before. Here we go. The old Kahuna is now also a member of the Elite Four. Well this time I'm holding nothing back, time for you to see what I can really do. Here we go. The first of 44 members is Kahuna Hala, Mele Mele Island. He's the fighting type Elite Four, he has five Pokemon, and the first one of these will be Hariyama. So Hariyama will be the first one we're gonna face. Hariyama, pure fighting type, versus Lunala. So we go with Psychic. Powerful, but not enough. So because Hariyama is so tanky. Knock off. A powerful move onto Lunala because Lunala is really, really weak to dark types, and knockoff is a dark type move. Lucky though, Hariyama is not a go dark type himself, so doesn't do any bonus damage. Let's just finish him off with another psychic. Super effective, and that's gonna take down the Hariyama. So that's the first one down. We have four more to go. Next up will be Primeape. Primeape Generation 1 Fighting Type. This one is the kind of the opposite of Hariyama. This one has not the high, not as low speed as Hariyama. It is much faster, yet very powerful, but it doesn't have the defense or the HP like Hariyama has. Let me show you. Primeape will be faster, go Pursuit. A very powerful Dark Moon will do a lot of damage to the Nala. Here comes Psychic. One hit. K.O. Very, very powerful. And with that, Lunala's level 56. Plus 5 HP, that's a lot. Primarina is also 53. Manazon is 51. And next up will be Beware. Beware is a normal fighting duel type. So it's also weak to fighting itself. So you could use Hariyama if you want to. Or you could go with something else. Let's bring in Primarina, because I think Lunala is struggling a bit, and if he's being outsped by someone that has a dark move, Lunala might go down. Let's go into Primarina versus Beware. So Beware, the new generation 7 Pokemon normal fighting dual type. It's also weak to both Psychic and Fairy. Both Psychic and Fairy types are super effective against a fighting type. And since I am the Fairy type, on Primarina, it's better to use Moonblast. Here it comes. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. One hit KO the Beware. Wow, that's a lot of power. Next up will be Crab Dominable. Crab Dominable is his ultimate fighting Pokemon. This is a uh, Pokemon with a Z Crystal as well. He's a dual type Ice and Fighting. Which means it also has some weaknesses that it can be exploited, but it's weak to fighting itself. It's also weak to ground, weak to, weak to fighting. So you can use different ways when I use it though, but if you want to go fighting versus fighting, let's do it. Hariyama versus the Crab Dominable. Crab Dominable is weak to fighting itself as an ice type. So what I'm gonna do I can go close combat or we can just brick break. In my opinion, let's go close combat. let's use all out pumping. We're also faster than the card dominable, so we can take this one in a single hit. Here it comes. Z power Hariyama. With surrounding its Z power, we get all out pummeling. 
the one that I've been using the most of all Z moves. It's very powerful though. Plus fighting is also one of the first C to C powers uh, you get in this game. A one hit KO. But be careful though, cause Kradoma might be using Z power against you if you didn't use it. So that's one reason why I used it. Hariyama's level 51. Very nice. Last Pokemon will be Poliwrath. Poliwrath, dual type, water and fighting. So there's multiple ways you can deal damage to it. If you have a grass type, it can be very well. Electric type as well, but beware, minor zone is weak to fighting. So, I'm actually going to go back to Primarina again. Because Primarina is resistant to water as a water type herself. Or himself even, because it's a male I have. So better to use Primarina. Where is the Poliwrath, the last Pokemon of Hala? It's a Generation 1 Pokemon, only be evolved by use of the Water Stone. Let's go with Moonblast. Here it comes. Will this be enough to knock out the Poliwrath though? No. Good damage though, but we need to do one more time. Come Submission. A move that will do Recoil. Not too much though on Primarina, because Primarina is resistant to fighting as a fair type. Let's finish this one off with another Moonblast. Here it comes. Nice. Right in the face of Poliwrath. It will go down. Primarina takes care of it. Two cannons, 52. And we win. I could feel the power you gain on your journey through Alola. It's only when the balance of that old and the new is just right that you can create something truly original. That is what I saw in the battle between us, an eldritch experience and the fire of youth. Step into the portal and you'll be sent back to the main room. Now you can see that the room is flowing up. We need to fill up with three more before we can go to the actual final chamber. We we'll do one more late four, we're gonna be the rock type. So we wanna use Primarina again for this one. Primarina is great against the rock types because of water type. We can also use minor zone, steel types, is also really great against rock type. We can also use Hariyama, who is good against rock types. Two cannon, we don't want to use because it's weak to rock type as a flying. And Lunala and Shellgun are neutral. Because they are both. Don't really have anything else that can deal with. Insane damage to a um, to a rock type, but they there are some rock. I mean, the, the rock type lead four has a lot of dual types, so we can do this in multiple ways. The Primarina will be the best one here, and I also will be getting in the uh, the Primarium Z to Primarina, cause Border Pokemon is the thing here, one of them at least. Hmm, actually, I might actually want to change my Pokemon for the first other ones we're going to face. You'll see soon. But Mind Zone is great here, because Rock types, I mean, uh, Steel types are super effective against Rock, and they're also resistant to Rock, so it's a great Pokemon to use, especially if you have a special attack, because most Rock types have really high defense, but not that high special defense. Let's go inside against the Rock type lead 4. And, just like Hala, we're going to fight against a Kahuna. It's Olivia! Welcome to the rock chamber! Yep. Now, don't think all of the Elite Four are, are Kahunas, though. It's only Hala and uh, Olivia that's uh, Elite Four. The other two, they are different. You'll see next episode. But for now, we're gonna take care of Olivia first. The uh, second of Elite Four members we're gonna fight. We're going to start with Magnezone here, because Magnezone is great as a Steel-type user against Rock-types. Resistant to Rock and super effective against Rock with its Flash Cannon. Here we go. No introduction needed here. Time to battle me, Olivia. That's right, Olivia, Elite Four member and Kahuna of Akala Island. She doesn't even want to say much, she just wants to battle, and that's fine with me. Here we go. I'm gonna go up against Lead 4, Olivia. 
My first Pokemon will be Relicant. That is why I want to change out Primarina for Magnezone. Because Relicant is a dual type Water and Rock. So Water don't really do well against the Water. Even though he's not really that strong as Water because he's a Rock type as well. But he's still weak to Flash Cannon. However, being a Water type, let's instead use Discharge. The can will use Yawn. Which means Magnezone will fall asleep after the next turn if he's not in combat. Discharge, do not KO Relicant though, will be very close. Let's do one more Discharge. Levi will use Full Restore, curing both Paralyzing Effect and the HP back to full. Discharge, number two. This time it's a one hit KO. Well played, Magnezone. Now Manzon will fall asleep though. Next up will be Probopass. Probopass is dual type rock and steel type. So that's gonna send in Hariyama. Because even though Probopass is extremely tanky, very very high defense, it has a quadruple weakness to fighting. Where's the Probopass? Rob Pass evolved from a Nose Pass. It can also only evolve in Magnetic Fields, so if you do have a Nose Pass, you want to get Probo Pass, you must evolve it in a Magnetic Field at the Vast Pony Canyon. Should we use Z-Power against this one? Nah, we should be fine without it. Let's go with Brick Brick. Let's see just what Brick Brick will do. Quadruple Weakness. Not enough. Thunder Wave. Paralyzing onto... Um, to Hariyama, which is sad, but not much you can do about it. Close combat probably will kill it, but that's fine. Pro pass, what will he do now? Full restore. Yeah, the Elite Force like to use a lot of items. But that's because they are very hard. Ooh, he survives because of Sturdy. Wow. That must be the second time a Pokemon that actually KOs on the second hit. Sandstorm now. Sandstorm is a move that will cause uh, any non, any Pokemon that are basically not resistant to ground to take damage every turn. The second Brick Brick will land and the Hariyama will take it down. Next up is Carbink. So Carbink is a Generation 6 Pokemon, dual type Rock and Fairy. Which means it has a lot of kind of funny weaknesses. For example, Carbink has a quadruple weakness to steel. Sadly though, my Magnezone is still sleeping. So I have to f get it to, s to wake up first. But should Flash Cannon land on Carbink, it'll be a one hit KO. Because it's four times weak to steel. Still sleeping. Carbink with Moonblast. Not that much damage on Magnezone, though, in a critical hit, but doesn't do too much damage because Magnezone is resistant to Fairy. It's still sleeping, though. Not very good for us. Moonblast again from Carbink. Not that much damage. Come on, Magnezone. Ah, oh, come on. Three turns? Unlucky. Moonblast, number three from Carbink. Damage is still pretty low. There we go, Flash Cannon is coming. This should be a wanted KO. Nope. It's not. The reason is because uh, Carbink is very, very tanky. I mean, its powers is not very strong. But it still can be annoying. Well, if Flash Cannon 1 doesn't do it, then Flash Cannon number 2 should do it. And it does. Quarterable weakness to steal, but it's very tanky. Not tanky enough, apparently. And now Manazone is level 52. Very nice. Shellgon is level 48. Next up is Lichen Rock. Now we want to change to Primarina. Lichen Rock is a pure rock type, which is kind of strange. Not a lot of Pokemon are pure rock, but this one is. And now is the reason I want to get in Primarina, and it's uh, Primarium Z. This is also the uh, dark form. This is the more f offensive, like rock, more speed and uh, and attack power. Not as much defense. 
we're gonna still use Z Power and Oceanic Operator. Black Rock with Stone Edge. A very powerful rock type move. But here it comes Primarium Z. Oceanic Operator, the exclusive Z Power move to Primarina. Let's sing. Need large watery bubble. Which will then it'll push towards the enemy. Then when it's above the enemy, it'll use the high Z to burst the bubble. Boom! And it bows in greatness. And Lycanroc, one hit KO. We're not done yet though, we have one last Pokemon to fight. As Primarina's level 54, the last Pokemon is Alolan Golem. Dual type, Rock and Electric. So we can actually just stick with Primarina here. This is a bit of a risk play, because yes, Golem is a Reclic type as well, but Golem doesn't really have that a lot of power. It's more of a tanky Pokemon, more of a physical Pokemon, not really a special attacker. Let's see if we can take it down with a single Sparkling Aria. Here it comes. No, it will not. Here comes Thunder Punch. And that will be enough to KO Primarina. So we try at least, but not enough. Oh well, Magnezone, I need your help. Let's get it down. Magnezone versus Golem. You're resistant to pretty much all he can give to us. Let's just finish it off with one flash cannon. Here it comes. We'll hit. And Golem goes down. And there we win. Really lovely. Both you and your Pokemon. I don't see the same look in your eyes as I saw when you first met on Akala Island. Have you had some experience that will carry on with your heart forever? Well, it's time for you to move on. It is indeed. We have beaten two former, two Kahunas, now Elite Four members. We have beaten the Rock type and we have beaten the Fighting type. But we still have two more Elite Trainers, four trainers to go with. Next episode, guys, we're going to go on against the next two Elite Four members of the Ghost type and the Flying type. Ghost first. Then flying after. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. That's great for now. I'll see you guys next time. It's my journey in Pokemon Moon.